So, if you don't mind me asking, what is the soccer team's record this season right now? Where do you sit at? As of now, we're unbeaten. I think it's five or six and all. Five or six and all. And I just want to know, this year, who would you say your biggest competition is in the league? Biggest competition skill-wise is, I would say, Northampton. But, you know, rivalry rise, it's always a mess. We always show up for that one. That makes sense. And the day this is being recorded, actually, I do believe the team plays Northampton tonight. Mm. This won't be out till next week, but that'll be a good game. Excited to see how that one goes. Me too. Are you prepared for that one? Yeah, we've prepared. We've simulated their field since it's narrow and shorter. Mm -hmm. We're just, you know, we're not really changing our play style, but we're just taking notes some some of their threats. So last year, obviously, the soccer team had a big EPC championship and a district championship, but it's just it's got to be kind of difficult to build off of that success when you lose a lot of seniors. So. What would you say like is the key to keeping that success and like maintaining the program when you've already hit that high point and now you just want to like keep working on it? A big part of maintaining the program is having like a really tight knit class as seniors that mm -hmm. the underclassmen can look after and try and model like how they like treat each other, how yeah. they look after each other, how they have each other's backs. Mm -hmm. So for example, like this senior class, we're really tight knit group we play on the same club team we hang out on the weekend together we park next to each other i mean we're really just like outside of soccer we're just like a friend group yeah and i think we're setting a really good example i can even see it taking shape like during the season like our our junior class the rising seniors next year they're going to be a, almost as tight knit as us so the thing about parkland sports they succeed but it takes a big amount of time, right? Mm -hmm. What would you say would be good advice for a student athlete here at Parkland on managing their time? Uh, being a student athlete is definitely, it's, it's hard, but it's also a great experience. Oh, 100%. Because you, have, you can have the satisfaction of having great grades and having great performance and winning championships. But honestly, it's, it's harder than it seems to find time to manage both. So in between practices and games, you have to find those little pockets of time where you can get some good studying in.